Good morning, everyone. Um, for those of you that don't know, Brandon and his brother Bryce have a YouTube channel called Harry Lake Hunting. And today they've organized a canyon cleanup up here at Providence Canyon. Uh, one day Brandon was shed hunting and he noticed there's so much trash up here. So he decided this would be a good way for us to give back to our community. He's worked really hard in getting lots of volunteers, um, lots of sponsors. Um, the dumpster behind us was uh, sponsored by someone that brought it up so we can put all the trash in there. Blue collar haulers. So it's going to be a great day. We're hoping the weather cooperates. It's a little bit windy, but little not too bad. A little bit. It'll warm up by the time everybody gets here. So we're uh, excited to be a sponsor to the Harry Lake Hunting channel on this. If you aren't a subscriber of Harry Lake Hunting, you should go look us up and subscribe to that channel. We bring you a little bit of comedy and a lot of uh, action. I hope. A lot of action. Some action. A lot of comedy and a little bit of action. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's true too. So, anyways, uh, thanks for being here today and come along while we clean Providence Canyon. Thank you for everybody that's come up here. Brush, come on up here. Okay. Um, hopefully we get more people trickling, but the nice thing is we had a group come up Wednesday night in order to get a head start, so we shouldn't have as much. Uh, the plan is, if some people want to go down first parking lot and work up, and then Bruce and whoever wants to jump in trucks go up to about one mile, the big gun range, and work their way down. Scott was up here Wednesday night and said a lot of that was already cleaned up. Uh, we'll, but we've seen target shooters heading up already this morning. So Scott said they even hauled a piano out of here Wednesday night. So if you come into a piano, don't lift it by yourself. Call and we'll send reinforcements. But um, Bryce and I appreciate the support, the help. Just thank you everybody and uh, just spread the word that you know a lot of garbage goes on up here and if you're up here take out what you bring in this is weighted down with a lot of nails so watch your tires pulling out we've been picking up nails all morning um, there's apples up here grab apple there's water in here there's ice cream ice cream's getting soft so you better eat your ice cream on your way to your parking lot so um, we'll meet back here at between 11 and 11 15 to raffle so let's just go clean thank you guys all right what's your name and why did you guys decide to come today i'm caleb this is my son kylan um you know we came out because it was a good cause and and uh we need to keep these canyons clean We'll lose our privileges to come up and do the things we love, from hunting, fishing, and, and other things. So it's important we keep these areas nice and clean. It's sad that people feel like they have to come up here and paint rocks like that in this pretty country, but... Well, it's not perfect, but it is better than what it was. This is why you don't burn pallets. Forest Service will cite you for it if they find you. I know it seems super convenient, but changing a flat tire is not super convenient. Or cheap. Thanks you guys for being here. Tell us what your reason and motivation of being here today is. It's 
We like being in the mountains and we want them to be pretty when we come. Well, thank you for being here. Clay, what's your motivation? Just to pick up trash outside. Keep the trails better than uh, we find it, right? Exactly. Bunch of broken glass from people shooting. Sadly, it's all over in this area right here. Thanks for being here, guys. Hello. Hi. What's your motivation for being here today? We all need to take responsibility and help keep things looking wonderful and ready for the next person. So even if I don't use the area, I can help keep it good. Yeah, thank you for being here. I'm glad to help. Nature doesn't survive on its own when there's that much garbage in there. That's a beautiful little brown trout. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Sponsors gave us some stuff to give away, which hopefully this works out. But we're gonna, I'm gonna hold it. Bryce is gonna draw it. This first one we're gonna give away is a hat and a water bottle. Cassie. Cassie. Uh -huh. Nice job. <laughs> okay, so uh, this next one we'll do a chair and a water bottle. Clay. Clay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Well. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. And uh, just so everybody knows out there, the Forest Service is shutting down areas to camp because of this problem right here. So we've already lost one for the for the year. Don't know if they'll open that back up or not. 
So just remember if you pack it in, pack it out, and grab some extra to take out with you. Okay, thanks you guys for being here. Thanks to our sponsors. Let's give our sponsors a hand. And So what's your reason for coming up here and helping out today? I love the canyon, I love the forest, and I love my son and daughter-in-law. <laughs> Two sons. Two sons. Yeah. Three sons three right sons. here. <laughs> yeah, three sons are here. So what's your motivation for being here today? Well, I've been subscribed to you guys for a couple of months. I saw the opportunity to come up and meet you crazy son of a bitch guys. <laughs> Pink and bows. So I want to tell you about a Douglas recipe. You roast two hot dogs over an open fire, hold it up with ketchup and mustard obviously and on a homemade bun or a bakery style bun. Salt and vinegar Lay's chips and you dip them in cottage cheese. Perfect meal, topped off with a Mountain Dew Dr. Pepper Diet Coke, your choice, but that's where it's at. I'll give you one. <laughs> You want a cottage cheese, don't you? You want one? Oh. And there you go. Russ is dead. So what'd you make? Well, I got these. Edible cookie dough from Avery. I'm gonna put it on here. Um, the outside is cooked, but the inside isn't. So she made me one too. A little golden cookie. It might be nice in the s'more. I was gonna say, you can tell it's doughy still, but. Hey! So, we're just getting ready to make some s'mores, and Jill and I wanted to sit out here, roll some hot dogs, first campfire in our ring for the season, and. These are only half sizes. Red already for s'mores. How perfect. Who knew? But, sorry. No problem. You got so much going on here. We had the opportunity to be a sponsor for Harry Lake Hunting with their Canyon Clean. And 
obviously you know I am part owner of that channel with Bryce and that's how we were able to enable ourselves into being a sponsor to the cleanup on that but just like Harry Lake Hunting, one of our goals as DIY Love Life is to give back to the community whenever possible. And that day when we came off the mountain, shed hunting and saw all the garbage, it was just disgusting, embarrassing, gross. We're just like, we gotta take the opportunity to help clean. And so we set it up to the Harry Lake Hunting channel because it's a little bit more appropriate maybe on that channel where it's dealing with the mountains and, oh. Dead marshmallow. That's okay, those are the best, I'll take it. Blech. Hold on, gotta eat this sucker. Anyways, we, um, We felt it's more appropriate for that channel to be the host channel to do it, but we were wanted to sponsor it and also show it here because a lot of our viewers on this channel, you don't maybe follow the Harry Lake Hunting channel. And I want to give you a personal invite right now. If you're not, look up Harry Lake Hunting and subscribe to that channel as well. A couple of our videos cross over like this one with that one but on that channel it's showing our elk hunts our deer hunts our turkey hunts shed hunts it's a hunting channel it's very entertaining jill says it's more entertaining and less action <laughs> we're trying to make it more action and less entertaining well more entertaining and more action but anyways please jump over subscribe to that channel and support us there as well but we were thankful to be able to help get back to the community. We didn't put it on a channel to say, look at what we're doing. We put it on our channel, hoping to inspire others to take an hour, go up in the mountains or your favorite park or somewhere and just clean. Um, I think the other thing it does too is hopefully brings people a little bit of education on like it seems super convenient to take a pallet up the canyon and burn it but it's not convenient to pick up all the nails and then you leave them there and people drive over them and you get a flat tire and, and who takes a piano up there to shoot and start on fire like so maybe some do's and don'ts of going up the canyon but also you know one thing that we've always stressed to our kids and like if you take it in take it out and take a little bit more with you so Hopefully, Leave it better than you found it. Right. Hopefully we brought some education and awareness to people of that as well. But also, you know, a desire to go up maybe a different canyon or, or even your neighborhood. We realize that not everybody lives here in Utah. Not everybody lives here in Cache Valley. I'm sorry for those of you who don't. We love it here. Awesome area. But like Joe said, you can clean anywhere you're at. There's plenty of forest and country. And if you live in the big city, we've driven through cities and you can see all the garbage on the side of the road there. One hour, you'd be surprised at how much you can accomplish. But we appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate those who watch the whole video. We love the comments we get. If you haven't left a comment, leave a comment. We love to comment back and even the ones that go several comments back and forth. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe. Um, you can only comment on your computer. Or cell phone. You can count on your cell phone? Yep, I comment on my cell phone. Never mind, scratch that, delete it. It's hard to comment on TV if you watch YouTube on oh, TV. That's right. Yeah. TV. Computers and cell phones you can comment on. But, anyways, Bo, do you have anything to say? I love the graham crackers. Huh. Oh, are you a graham cracker dog? Yeah. Hank, do you have anything to say? He has a lot to say. Hank's been chasing a cat in the neighborhood. All right, guys. We love you. See you on the next one. Bye.